I think even people who were biased on rights saw these pictures every night at the dinner hour, beating up blacks, putting uh, sicking dogs onto them, and said, this has got to stop. Something must be done. So I think that really was the decisive fact. That and the powerful will of Lyndon Johnson to be, have a success in legislation. Those two things did it. And, and the wonderful eloquence of uh, Martin Luther King. Birmingham wasn't your first brush with this. You covered Little Rock, didn't you? Little Rock, the Ole Miss campus, too. I was involved there. And also my daily commentary, my weekly commentary on radio. I took sides. Now, you are definitely a Southerner. Yes. I mean, there's no doubt in anybody's mind in this country that you come from the South. That's right. How did they greet you when you went South uh, to do these stories? Uh, not happily. Uh, the mayor of Monroe, my, where I grew up as a boy, sent me a message saying, when will you do something we can be proud of? <laughs> the, uh, my own relatives, the Cajuns, said, we love you anyhow. And uh, it, uh, I was not liked. But what do you do in that case? You have no choice. One side is right and the other is wrong. There's no in-between. You can't find a, a, a position in between. It's halfway between good and evil, and that's the right one to follow. You can't do it. In fact, the, the next year, people were, a CBS correspondent after I left were using phrases I used in my documentary. They were killed. I quoted Edmund Burke. said, all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. They killed it. They wouldn't allow it to be said. The next year, I heard it two or three times in reports from the field by CBS correspondents. It had become acceptable. So you think the television, uh, and CBS televisions in particular, uh, softened a little bit on this stance? Yes, they did. They almost had to. Paley's position was unrealistic. You could not find a position somewhere equidistant between right and wrong. I, Jimmy Hoffa said one phrase I think was worth all the trouble we had with him. He said, truth ain't between anything. Truth's where it's at. Well, that's exactly right. 